again with the Firebird and we're pretty much in the final stages. So what's going to happen now, pretty much a bunch of the small end stuff and since we're replacing a few things like the valve covers. Now I've already replaced the power steering pump prior to this video because I want to get my core back as soon as possible. And I just got to fill it full of fluid now. Now as far as the accelerator cable, since it is a factory cable that I used off another one that was either throttle body or carbureted, well, wanted to make sure that in the future if you need another one you just use a factory part number. So I modified the bracket and extended it back so that it would uh, fit properly, work properly, and uh, yeah, replace the stock one. Fully welded. That thing ain't gonna bend, ain't gonna move. I just gotta paint it now. So, let's get into the work and try to get this Firebird ready for the exhaust videos. Now the valve cover's going on pretty well, easy. These are uh, eBay specials, believe it or not. They, uh, I went to Summit about the Mr. Gaskets because, well, they didn't work. So, uh, well, they sent me another pair of, I think it's Eddie's Motorsports. But, I was like, man, I don't think I really want that completely smooth aluminum. So I decided that I found these chrome stock looking ones and figured that was a better look. I even got a little oil cap right here to make filling a little easier. And I'm gonna use these wire loom holders now on each valve cover so that I can uh, Hold the wires better in place. And honestly, I think these look much better. Now, I think we're looking better. Nice valve covers, looms holding the wires up. Everything's nice, neat, and tucked up where nothing's touching the exhaust. And they're all well organized this way. The bracket's on. And it's all good. Now, the blower motor, replace it. So I feel this is more recent. And maybe that's really not that bad of a blower motor, but, uh,. Yeah, that looks like some of my uh, shipping blankets I've been using to cover. Or it could have been from before, I don't know. There we go. Looks a lot better too. Okay, so here we are again. And you can probably hear the frustration in my voice. So, I ordered and found a smog bypass pulley and that is not on there so I'm using the stock belt in the stock routing setup and right now the belts off the crank so I'm gonna start it up Everything's back in place. Alright, 
so put the new alternator on there still a little bit of a noise only with the serpentine belts on had my buddy Brian come over thanks Brian to uh, help me kind of try to find that noise you could hear it with the belt on take the belt off can't find it he even listened under the hood while I put it in gear and just try to give it a little bit of throttle that way put a little bit more load on the engine still no noise it's in the serpentine setup somewhere and almost everything's changed so I don't know it could be the tensioner because when I put it right on the the pulley on the tensioner kind of makes a weird little sound but it doesn't sound like the tick but it could be the fans still don't work and I try to bypass the relay well that didn't work but what I'm gonna do is take it out for its first drive no mufflers on it and see how it actually runs first and get a feel for the car Went to go hit the gas and uh, I forgot to put the little clip to hold the uh, the cable on. Oops. Alright, round two. Uh, the clip's on and uh, this is either going to be a epic winter fill because uh, I don't know what this car is going to do. Haven't tuned the carburetor yet for driving. It's the first time I've actually driven it so I guess we'll see what happens. Alright, so uh, that first drive failed, and it was uh, pretty easy errors to fix, such as the throttle bracket moved, causing the TV cable not to allow the transmission to shift properly. Fixed that, drove it again, great. Adjusted the four barrel on the quarter jet, and uh, I accidentally went the wrong way, so it bogged more. Um, so I just tightened it back up, and I think. I think we're going to have a good time this time because the first time going into second gear it just bogged so then loosening it up made it worse obviously. Didn't mean to loosen it, I forgot I had a brain fart so whatever. Um, yeah, let's try this again. better better the kick down there around 2025 feel like could use a little bit more 
Um, now I'm trying to remember, which I want to look back at the footage here in a second. I don't think that'll tell me anything. I think it fluttered a little bit, then went, so I think I need to tighten it a hair more because this time in third gear it bogged down a little bit so I think it just needs a little bit a hair bit tighter and I think it's good probably what I'll do is I'll try a muffler and tune it a little bit more etc etc because I don't need to keep doing that and not have a reason because it's open there's no muffler right now so Alright, I guess it's time on to exhaust. drive stops need some more exhaust work because uh, kind of rushed for it got dark put everything on and realize it's not set up exactly straight and square back there it's kind of put it back together the way it was and didn't notice how bad it off it was when I got it it's off so I'm gonna have to do some tweaking under there to make it look right it's finicky tuning that quarter jet. I don't know what it is. I may have not waited long enough for it to get the temp for I got on it a couple of times. Sometimes I got on it, it's really good. Or, let me phrase it. That first good burnout felt good, but when I went to kick down from 20, 25 miles an hour, the quarter jet didn't open and you didn't get that quarter jet sound. It didn't. It didn't necessarily, it didn't bog, it just didn't open up and just whoop. So, loosen it up, even just the smallest bit, and it's too much. Tighten up the smallest bit, it's tightened up too much. Uh, can't really find that perfect dead center. That's becoming a, that, that's, that's difficult. And I figured last night it was getting dark. Headlights don't work, remember? So I was like, okay, calling it. I'll deal with that later and get it tuned just right. Before I figure out what to do with the car. So, I'm hoping to have this done by now. But between the Nationals and Uprising, it's kind of taking a bit of time. Plus, I'm personally having issues finding interior parts, which is going to be the next thing to do. It's finishing this up detailing an interior and making it one nice car so it runs it drives it shifts so there's that actually has really good and for just being a little 305 in this little car it can boogie pretty good honestly so i kind of want to keep it but it's the T-tops that does it for me. I'm not a T-top fan. Now, if I had a set, if this had a set of fiberglass body painted T-tops, I think I would, I, I would, I would be okay with that. The sun, about the sun shining down, and it's kind of cool to have the tops, T-tops off while you're driving. Sometimes uh, around here, you can only do that so much. But 
Yeah. And this little project is, I know, for some of y'all that watch all my stuff, it's cutting into the Pontiac truck, which I did that for multiple reasons. One, you know, finances. got to have money to put into that truck. Two, it's been summer, and I have not been wanting to work on that truck, and it's just been ridiculously hot. So, kind of waiting for, for fall and some custom order parts to come in. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching.